So there are over 40 different loss events that can affect our lives. When I first heard that, I went, no, there can't be. Well, there are. And a lot of them are events that we don't even consider as loss, which means when it happens in our lives, we just carry on. But we're wondering, why do, why do we feel a little lost? Why am I feeling emotional about this? Why isn't everything coming together the way that I thought it would? It's because we haven't completed the previous relationship in regards to this loss event. And that's why we're grieving and suffering and most of the time we don't even know it. And that's why most of our friends are going, get over it. What's wrong with you? Just move on. But inside we know we can't. And this is probably why we have a thriving alcohol and pharmaceutical industries and why our suicide rates have grown to such huge proportions all over the world. So what are these 40 different loss events? So here you are. So you have a look at them. It's, you know, we can understand, and I'll just, I'll, I'll just come around for a sec. So we understand that the top six are death of a loved one, a divorce, a job loss, your health, your wealth, even your pets. Though at the moment in our current situation that the whole world is in, we have the lesser known ones coming to the forefront. Things like loss of freedom, loss of choice, loss of status, changing work conditions, changing social activities, and changing recreational activities. It's quite interesting, isn't it? That the whole world is in a lost situation and most of us don't even know how to move beyond loss. We don't wanna talk about it, we don't wanna think about it, and only a very few of us know what to say when loss occurs, for us or for others. So let's have a little look at these different losses. Type into the type into the to the chat box what you feel are some of your losses that you may not have moved on from, you know, at the moment. It could be a death of someone that you love. It could be a divorce or a marriage. It could be even something that we may not even consider as a loss. Moving house. Your children starting school, your children leaving home, you becoming an empty nester, your loss of safety, changing your family member's health. There are so many things here, fertility problems, menopause, you know, we've got so many different things that when you start looking at it, retirement, thank you, Marion, Anna, thank you. And, you know, it really is a marriage, a separation, eldest son leaving home, moving house, income loss. That's just one person. But when we look at it and go into it, we realise that it's all of us. There are over 40 different loss events. We are all going to have multiple major losses throughout our lives. And that's why I say isn't it important for us all to know how to easily move beyond loss? And that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. 